funny the mindset, how smart these guys. Mostly started the game in Cincinnati, right? This is during the regular season because we knew we were going to play him in the playoffs probably. He started out with 32 straight fastballs. Bobby Cox looked at me and goes, well, I guess this is going to be a fastball day, huh, Leo? So Smolsey, I come in, and Smolsey's getting him out. I come in, and he said, Smolsey, so what the hell are you doing? I said, well, 30, that's 32 straight fastballs. He goes, yeah, I'm setting him up for the playoffs. <laughs> and with Glavin, you know, one, one time uh, I went out to the mound, and Tommy uh, had trouble with Kevin Mitchell. Remember, Kevin Mitchell was a big power hitter, and it was the bases loaded and, and uh, two outs. So I went out to the mound. And I said, Tommy, I said, no, I want you to pitch to Mitchell just like just like there was nobody on. I said, because you got a base open. And he looked at me, he goes, I don't, I don't know what the hell game you're looking at. He goes, but last I looked, the bases were loaded. I said, he said, would you mind telling me what's open? I said, yeah, home plate. And he looked at me and he said, don't give in, right, Leo? I said, don't give in. He threw a 3-2 changeup lower than low, and Mitchell took it for ball four. The run scores, right? He retired 18 in a row and won the game five to two. Maddox. One time we had a situation where he went to Bobby Cox and, and told him, he says, look, I can't get uh, Louis, Louis Gonzalez of Arizona owned him. He could not get Ma- him out. And Bobby refused to have Maddox walk anybody because he says, there's nobody we thought he couldn't get out. We told Bobby if, he, if the game was on the line to go ahead and walk Gonzalez, it was fine with him. And uh, so the game was on the line about the sixth inning and, and, and Bobby goes, well, Leo, he said, there's first base is open. He says, I guess this is the guy we got to put him on. He said, because he told me to go ahead and put him on if he wanted to. I said, he says, what do you think? I said, I think you should go out to the mound and ask him what he wants to do because he knows better than us what, what he wants to do. And he goes, you know what? You're right. So he goes out to the mound. And Maddox is talking. He goes back in. Bobby looks down and sits down next to me. He goes, wait, do you hear this? Said, what's going on? What's going on? He goes, well, he said, I went out there to tell him, you know, he's going to walk the guy. And he goes, no, 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 wait a minute. He says, give me two pitches. He said, if I get behind an account, two balls and no strikes, I'll put him on. But I think it, I can pop him up to third. So Bobby goes, Leo, he, he, he thinks he can pop him up to third. Well, once he told me that, I knew it was going to be a cutter above the hands, you know, off the plate with, and where he'd have to fight the pitch off. He popped the ball up to chipper in foul territory at third. <laughs>